Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the crop feature with the morph transition. And now what I've got on the screen is a picture of a family. It's not really my family. And what I've set up is some slides that you can see there, which are all pretty similar, but with different focuses as you go down and a repeat slide at the end. So if I put this into full screen so you can actually see how it works. Now I've got it on click, so that's the, the screen that you see. And if I click away, you get the, the first slide coming in. The background's faded out and my mum is highlighted. If I click again, it moves on to my dad. If I click again, it moves on to my brother. And if I click again, it goes back to that last slide. So that's what I want to show you how to do. So I'm going to do that on a new slide, so a new presentation. So control N for new. Now, the first thing I did was I inserted a picture, uh, stock images it was actually. And I just want a group. Let's search for a group. And that's the group there. Look, so I want that. Insert that and that picture comes in. Now I'm just going to change this layout as well once this picture comes in. So I'll get rid of these text boxes. So that's just downloading the picture. Then I'm going to duplicate that and then I'm going to fade that picture out a little bit. It's taking its time to download. So how long it takes is dependent on what your connection is like. So mine's obviously taking a little while. Just wait for it. Here we go. So um, I want to duplicate this slide, so I'm going to right click on that and duplicate. So that one stays as it is and I'll put a title on this one. I want to crop this person out. So what I need to do is copy this picture. So I'm going to copy that picture and then I'm going to fade this one out and then I'm going to paste that picture on top of it. So what I need is to go into picture format and select transparency like so then paste the original back on and then just cop copy or not copy crop this lady so clicking on crop so then I'm bringing this down and across oops missed it got it Bring it across, that needs to go up a little bit. Should have just got the corner really. And then once I've got the, the position I want for the crop, I can then select whatever style I want for this. So if I drop this arrow down, let's go for that one. So you can see that now, so I've got that cropped. And if I click away, now you can see the layout behind, so I need to get rid of that blank. So now I've got rid of that. So now what I need to do is come back onto this side and click on this slide and duplicate. And let's do that another time. Duplicate. And this one I also want to duplicate and push this one to the end. This slide needs to go to the end. So on the second slide, what I need to do is click on the, the crop area. So I need to get crop on the screen and I need to move the crop, making sure that I don't move the image. So that's that one. And then same on this one, click on the image Activate crop, carefully pick it up, move to the person you want to be in the middle of this image. And then what we now need to do is go into each one of these and insert a text box and just type in there what you want it to say. My mum. And if you want, you can copy that text box. Because that's going to be my dad and move that into so it's above his head 
and this one is going to be copy paste my brother and then move that over him so each person if you wanted to you could do this for each person now what I need to do and what I did do is, is set the transition to be morph so these these three slides will morph or well, these four slides will morph in but I just need to put a title on this one so I'll just um, insert a title here my family and friends and then just change the background of that a bit shape fill green I'll do make that center make it bold not the, the whole thing bold not just one word okay right now to set the morph transition I click on that slide hold my shift key down click on the other slides like so now up to transitions and select morph now I've got this set to come in on click but you can obviously change the um, the options how you want things to move it's totally up to you but I'm just going to put this into full screen from the first slide and let's have a look to see how this goes so now I'm clicking away so it morphs into the next slide everybody's faded out except my mom click again then my dad click again then my brother click again everybody comes back into focus press escape you're back down to your slideshow so that's just a quick look at how you can use the morph transition and the crop feature to create a very slick presentation so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one